Ovin St. Preux represents a significant challenge in a bunch of ways. He's a very strong guy, very fast, and has his eyes set on an eventual top contender position. Shogun got caught! Ovin St. Preux! I'm a very explosive athlete, and you don't know what's going to happen. Ovin St. Preux played football, was excellent at football, and very late in life made his transition to mixed martial arts. Guys like that represent a huge threat. I know within fighting, the hardest person to get ready for is an unorthodox fighter. You get knocked out. You're going to get submitted. He's out. Hit it's all over. My particular style is unpredictable. I had a calf crusher. It's something that I do all the time in the gym. One of my fights, a bomb flute choke. Nobody's seen it coming. He's out. We didn't even see that. You know, he was doing the bomb flute choke. Seeing that he knows that says to me that he's working on all aspects of his submission game. If he's aware and has uh, an excellent version of that choke, I, I bet he has a full submission arsenal. When I fought Jimmo, he was a karate guy. And my stand-up beat his stand-up. I broke his arm with a high kick. When I took him down and had him against the fence, I actually had him in the Oklahoma ride, which is a traditional wrestling position. And I had his left arm. I was going to try to submit him with a chicken wing. When he posted out with his right arm, it kind of gave on him a snap. It's all over. I just want to be another guy that everybody's worrying about. He got knockout power. He got submissions that, you know, haven't been really used in the UFC. I just want to be one of those guys you got that chill factor that crawls behind your back every time when you hear my name. Ovens, shake, boo!